Hello and welcome to the Daily Comic and Collectible, episode 216. Now today, the collectible of the day is the Hasbro Toys Marvel Legends series Secret War Captain America action figure. This is the Captain America from the Secret Wars comic story arc. After being involved in a secret coup in the country of Latveria and losing his memories, Captain America must now fight off the villains he overthrew and find out how deep the conspiracy goes. This Captain America 6-inch scale action figure has extensive articulation, proposability, and displayability. Captain comes hand-painted with detailed sculpting and deco. Figure also includes an alternate hand with attached shield throwing effect. This is part of the Abomination Build-A-Figure set and contains the right arm, released by Hasbro Toys. Now, the comic of the day is The Invaders, number one, with a cover date of May 1993, with story by Roy Thomas, art by Dave Hoover, and cover by Dave Hoover. This is the second volume of this series, and this issue is titled The Invaders Return. This story opens with an update on the war effort and the loss of subs off our coastal waters by the Nazis. We then see a Nazi sub firing on an allied vessel, when out of the sky comes Captain America, Human Torch, and Namor. It's an easy job for these superheroes against one sub, but just as they are about to sink the Nazi sub and round up some prisoners, they are ambushed by a supervillain team unknown to them and working for the Nazis. They call themselves the Battle Axis and start a fight with Cap and his crew. A villain named Strongman beats Namor till he's out cold. The Spider Queen ties up Captain America with her webbing and it's so strong even Cap can't break free. Then the villain Volton brings Torch tumbling out of the sky with his powerful electrical aura. Our heroes are just about defeated when the invader's plane, Cap was flying, is remotely crashed into the Nazi sub, sending Namor, Torch, and Cap into the waters, and they are able to escape. They make it back to the roof of the Liberty Legion, where they are accidentally attacked by Thin Man, who thinks they are Nazi saboteurs. Captain America tells Thin Man what happened and mentioned they had English or American accents, but were Nazis. Thin Man opened a file cabinet to reveal that they are American and were possible future Legionnaire candidates. Meanwhile, in the park, on Manhattan's east side, two people are walking arm in arm and enjoying the night when they spot the Nazi sub from earlier gliding down the East River. The two suddenly change to reveal themselves as the last two members of the invaders, Miss America and Wizard but the two are ambushed like earlier from the battle axis. Their leader, Dr. Death, orders them taken alive for the mysterious Mojave Project, but Miss America is able to break free and try to escape. After a cat and mouse chase, she escapes, but is left hanging on to the side of a cathedral without the energy to even fly. But Wizard is taken prisoner. To be continued in issue number two. This is considered a key issue, being the return of the invaders. Human Torch, Captain America, Namor, Thin Man, Whizzer, and Miss America. It's also the first team appearance of the Battle Axis. Dr. Death, formerly Dr. Nemesis, Volton, Spider Queen, Strong Man, and the Human Meteor. Geek Fact this first issue takes place on June 22, 1942, only six months after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, causing the United States to declare war on Japan. Bonus Geek Fact The Battle Axis teammates are all characters reintroduced from the Golden Age of Comics. They were all originally created by defunct publishers. Another bonus fact This Human Torch isn't Johnny from the Fantastic Four, this is the original, who was also an android. And final geek fact. The Invaders' first appearance was in Avengers number 71 from December 1969. And bonus final geek fact. 
The Invaders were originally created by Stan Lee. And I'd like to thank you for joining me for today's Daily Comic and Collectible. And I hope to see you again tomorrow. This is Cat Fan Comics Man, and I'll catch you on the flip. Over and out. Out.